those of you that don't know me, uh, sorry for your loss. <laughs> I mean a toast. Um, <laughs> I was not excited because public speaking is definitely not my thing. But let me tell you what is. DJ, drop the beat. <laughs> <laughs> But as her A1 day one, I can speak with her experience when I tell you she definitely did not start out that way. <laughs> when Tara was a baby, she cried all the time. We when still I do. All the time, all day, every day. That's all she did. Hasn't her. changed. <laughs> <laughs> Some I'm just people kidding. might even go as far as saying she was a bit of an asshole. <laughs> I remember thinking, oh my god, why would anyone ever want to have one of these little gremlins? <laughs> and then proceeded to do just that two years later when I had my son Jordan. It was at that time, though, that I realized one of the most beautiful parts about my and Tara's relationship. See, even though I was her older sister, and traditionally it was me that was supposed to teach her all of the things. It was actually her that taught and prepared me for the best role I would ever have, and that's being a mom. Back then, her wedding day was ages away, and the time did eventually come. And I remember first hearing about the love of her life, the man of her dreams, the one. And then, sadly enough, Joe Jonas got yep. married. <laughs> I, I feel I, I feel bad for every day. That's I know. <laughs> when Tara first introduced Colin to our family, I know myself for sure. I had my guard up because you know there was no way he was going to be good enough for my sister. But as the years went by, it became apparent to me that he had only the best of intentions for her. He was dependable. He always made sure she had anything she needed. Um, especially as she made her way through college. And above all else, and most importantly, he kept my sister's heart safe. So my heart slowly became, began to come down. Um, Tara, Colin, I couldn't be more happy for you guys. Congratulations. I love you both. Colin, welcome to our crazy family. Yep. <laughs> no take backs. Nope. You're in it for life. Yep. Hi, I'm Ayana. I'm Roshana's daughter, and I'm going to read this speech because she can't bring herself to. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and thank you all so much for coming to celebrate Tara and Colin. And a very special thank you for my mom, dad, Ginny, for raising these two beautiful kids. I would like to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Tara's oldest sister, Roshana Lee Galanti. I just want to say I am extremely happy for you both. You deserve nothing but love and eternal happiness. <clears throat> Marriage is when two become one. One foundation and one heart. But no matter what, your significant other is and always will be your best friend. I will never forget the day Tara was born. I was 18 years old at the time. When I walked into the hospital room, I went over to her, kissed her forehead, and just stared at her. And I'll never forget her scent, raw chicken. It was raw chicken. <laughs> it smelled like raw chicken. I can't it so it was raw chicken. <laughs> Her very first job at the horse farm at 14 years old. 
I got upset when she told me she was making fourteen dollars a day. Seven dollars a day. Oh, seven. Was it seven? <laughs> seven dollars a day. Okay, well, that was terrible. I said, I said you can get a job in in better pay at Pond Hills, Lisa too, and that's where it all began. Colin and Sean were delivering pizza at Pond Hills. Tara had told me that Colin had said something kind of mean to her, and I, I got a little upset with him. <laughs> but then it hit me. Oh, he likes her. <laughs> and, and I told her that. I said, Colin likes you. And guess what? I was right. <laughs> I remember when he came over uh, in his Ultima to take her to the car field. And I said, well, I'm going too. <laughs> I just wanted to go for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. We love you, Colin, and you've been a part of our family for nine years. My daughters adore you. And thank you for making Tara happy. I love you, brother. So thank you, Colin. You are the GOAT. And I'm not Thanks, saying buddy. tonight, but I can't wait until you two make babies. <laughs> So when I first met Colin, it was freshman year, and we were playing freshman football at Hilton High School. In comes this kid from Greece, Athena, and he's Rochester. You could just tell in his eyes, he had all the talent in the world, yet no heart. No heart. <laughs> A quote from Coach Rich Lapani, no heart. I'll jump ahead to the time where Colin met the true love of his life, the Microsoft Xbox. <laughs> I knew the moment you laid your eyes on that Xbox, that was the one for you. Oh, wait, Tara, sorry. Uh, this is your wedding, Tara and Colin. Let me go back at the moment. When you first laid your eyes on Tara, we knew that she was the one, and I know so did you. When you're growing up with Tara in this relationship, I've never witnessed a more happier you, Colin. You both are so great together, she puts up with, I'm not gonna swear, a lot of your crap, <laughs> like playing Xbox every night, talking to us, instead of spending time with her. You're very spontaneous. Uh, you guys make a very strong husband and wife. Hopefully we can do more traveling experiences with each other. Like when we went to the Giants uh, Rams game, left the halftime, drove all the way across Pennsylvania to go see the Steelers. No clapping for uh, Rams, please. Um, <laughs> Seahawks Steelers games, all to yell. You gonna say it? F Jamal Adams. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> okay, no one gets it, great. Um, thank you both. <laughs> for giving me the privilege to be Colin's best man. Now if we can please raise a glass and have a toast to an amazing couple and a uh, yeah, lifelong happiness. Hey. Thank you guys. That was a great speech shake. That was beautiful. Take me somewhere to warmer weather to something better than here I eat now. Days get longer, the nights grow colder A lonely shoulder when you're not around Tell me, do you want me right now? I don't wanna wait to find out I need you to let me lie down